ここは大敗と上演偏愛と堕落の満ちた大迷宮愛痛み答えくるりくるりの買い合わせさなかに待つはナユタの鬼情と欲に支配されるのもまた命の証ですものねフェイトグランドオーダー徳川回転迷宮大奥開催 Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Fate's Grand Order.、Um, I completed some of level four here, cleared it all out.、Uh, the only ones that are still there are some of the、um, missions I can like, grind and stuff. I haven't done those because those cost 40. That's a lot. Anyways, we're on floor five here. Myriad of women. Oh boy. Aren't we excited for this? Okay. Well, at least we know where half of Caldia went, right? Earlier. Tee hee! Tee hee hee! <laughs> now, now, settle down. No need to pressure me against me so tightly. So, it baffles my mind that I've watched the opening of,、uh, not the opening, but the,、um, the CM, the commercial, for. This event over and over. And it took me forever to realize that the Shogun walking with like this super low angle that looks super cool in that one shot, that's totally Gordolf. How does he get such a sick animation moment? Like, it's the, it's the same gold outfit, right? Like, oh man. What a Chad. It's quite alright. This is the o k u I can't very well turn down your offer to entertain me. So, of course, I'll be going in、uh, deeper and deeper. Oh, yes, please do come inside. That's why we're all here. Oh, boy! That's right. The Ooku in Edo Castle is full of love for the Tokugawa Shogun. We're here to provide it all the love you could ever want forever and ever. Boy, this hits differently, knowing the body of whom she is in and that backstory, and oof! Oof, indeed. Jeez. All right, so our choice is between passion or seduction. Well, I think either way is good. Let's go the seductive corridor. It's pink everywhere. The corridor makes you feel uneasy. It's pink seductive? Not the singer. Though she is in her own way. But I, I guess pink is, you know, clicking noises can be heard from the back of the corridor. Ah. Clicking noises. Nerds on computers. How seductive. Or. Possibly snack. Let's go with you. Switch you out for you. Keep that damage up. Sounds good. Let's go. What do we got? Lamias? A waiting maidservant rushes over and clings. Ah.、Oh. Give me Lamias. Give me snake girls. Oh, there will absolutely be as we continue, won't there be? I feel like there's no way they won't do that. But we shall see. But we shall see. See,、so yeah, I got the、um, fourth floor's、um, command code there, which lets me.、Um, uh, it, it gives bonus damage to、um, charmed servants, which is pretty good, but it also grants just some C stars upon hit. So, yeah, really good for Parvati, honestly, because that is the one with her weapon on it, so that makes sense. Um, in terms of if I'm actually going to use it right away, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna hold off on using them just for now. Just for the fact that, who knows, maybe there'll be a servant that they're better for in the future. And also, boy, it's expensive to actually get, you know, those put on. So, as such, I don't really have that as an option right now because I don't have the money for it. So, once we, once we get some more money. Then we'll be good. But for now, we really, really don't. Oh, also, my vacation is cancelled, so、uh, we'll, there's no worry about the,、uh, the time it'll take here. In case you're wondering. And the,、um, there's some missions that have apparently anime scenes before them, which is like really cool. And I have to wonder how they're going to do that. I kind of want to check them out, but also feel like that is a massive problem. Maybe I'll try doing it. And if the video gets taken down, I'll make it a Patreon exclusive one. But I'll do that after the event, probably. So, choice between glossy 
and fragrant. Ooh, give me them smells. A nice floral scent entices you. I know, I smell flowers and go, yum, flowers. The Sakura room. How fitting. A picture of a cherry blossom on the hanging scroll seems to be emitting the scent. Ch ch cherry blossom flavored stuff is weird, though. It's such a flavor that you wouldn't expect. Anyways, we got Act 2 here. Let's see, is there any... Strong servants, strong... Uh, 250, very nice. I'll take that. Let's go. Of course there's going to be plot in the Sakura room. I mean, half our half the characters involved here are Sakuras. Except, despite that, there's actually a number of Sakuras that aren't here. Hmm. Tihi, please, please have mercy. These attendants keep loosening up their kimono and rushing over the moment they spot us. I see. So Fujain Kai forbids sexual relations outside of marriage. Well, we certainly don't have to worry about that here. Who would possibly be tempted by bizarre dolls like this? Looks into the camera. Wait, everyone over there. Tihi, tihi, hi, Kama. There's not just one of her. Oh yeah, we're gonna now. Now she's gonna be a encounter, huh? They're not saying anything. They're just smiling, and they're coming towards us too. They must be trying to seduce us, like the attendants. I wish she just cut that out, especially since she has the same face as me. I don't want my husband getting mixed up. Whether they're really her or not. Seems clear she means to get us to break the fifth precept herself. The attendant dolls can only be so seductive given what they are. If Matahari and I were still under her control, we probably would have been forced to help with this as well. Definitely. Then it's fortunate we freed you two earlier. If you two ended up working on this floor, Lord Tanner might belong to Kama now, body and soul, and Lord Y- I don't know about Yagyu. Oh, would be powerless to stop- okay, no, that's fair. Let's save the chit-chat for later, please. It looks like on this floor, we won't need to bother with keys. We should be able to progress just by fighting them off. Although, with the way she's looking at us, I think I can tell what's on her mind. She's thinking that even hurting one another can arguably be construed as a kind of foreplay. <sighs> okay. So she wants us to fight her. What's well, the last floor? We can't stop now. Pleasure and pain are, in essence, one and the same. I can understand what she's doing here, but I can't understand why she isn't doing it alone. If I were in her position, I would want to keep everything for myself. Of course you would. Of course you would. Okay. So. They're going to be weaker than normal, right? Right? Please? Let's hope so. Can they also still drop the same amount of stuff? That'd be cool. Oh, there's only one. Oh, well, Kama A. There's going to be another Kama. And yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's, I've fought mooks with more HP, honestly. Um, Let's go. Let you do a full combo on you. See how much we can do. We're just a full non-attack boosted combo. Nah, I don't think it's gonna be enough. Close, but not all the way. Okay. And let's go... You know what, let's go... Like this to kill and get meter. That'll help with the second one, of course. You're done. Okay. We're gonna get Kama the second, right? Well, we're gonna get your super, which will be useful. Yeah, Kama B. So let's go like this. Attack up. This up on you. Let's get you full meter. Also, yeah, it's almost full again. Again, what does that do? We don't know yet. At least I don't know. You probably do. Uh, most people I've talked to already done the event because they play a lot more than I do. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, three. All right. See how much we can do. Okay. 
That's big numbers. Wow. I think that was a one-hit KO. Yes, it was. Very nice. Same with that. And... Same with that. Hot dang. That's nice. Okay, we got that. Cool, cool, cool. Watch us get that bar to 100%. And we just, like, missed a tutorial saying that that's a bad thing. Like, don't use the skills too much. It's like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. That or maybe it'll help us in the final battle? That'd be cool. We'll see. I don't know. Uh... And we still have the second part of the store, which I don't know how that works. Okay. We have the choice between endearing or charm. Uh, I feel like endearing's a smarter one. Something's on the floor. It's a small doll. Oh, how endearing. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, there's a small doll there. Yep. There are many cute, well-adorned dolls here. Creepy dolls. That's a go-to thing, I guess. Oh, it's the extra one. All right. Let's see what uh, what awaits us in this extra room here. Let me wrong, Subone. Oh, oops, sorry about that. Temporary or not, a good wet nurse should worry about her charges, not the other way around. Don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. Well, it's just... Yes. This floor just reminded me how difficult this, um, particular subject was for me to teach. Oh, okay, but for real, I had to teach sex ed, and it is so funny. The kids are like, you come in, and they're like... Oh man, this is going to be so hilarious. And then you start saying the words and they immediately get so uncomfortable. And they're like, I don't like this. And it's like, too bad, you got to learn. You got to learn now. Show me what the vast deference is on this on this chart. And they're like, I hate this. It's like, too bad. Biology. Get used to it. It's hilarious. It's so funny. I certainly taught him the bare minimum he needed to know. But when it came to uh, practical applications... Well, I figured he would learn that sort of thing naturally, just by spending time around his pages at the same age. That's why sometimes I would even look the other way when his pages would take him to visit the castle town. That sounds just like... Yes, in fact, Lord Yoshimune, was it? The story of his you were studying may not have been that far from the truth. The fact is, there are some things that it's just not possible to teach inside Edo Castle alone. I see. I suspected something like that may have happened. Indeed, Mitsuyoshi may well have taught the Shogun things he should not have known. As your acting wet nurse, let me ask you this now. How were things of this nature handled in the future? For example, when I discovered Lord Iemitsu had hidden obscene drawings in his room, there were a great many things I wanted to say to him. But after thinking it over, I decided to simply arrange them neatly on the floor without saying a word. Is that the right way to handle that? <laughs> Hang in there, Lord Iemitsu. A lot of mothers do that kind of thing in our time, too. Do they now? I knew it. Now I feel like patting myself on the back for once. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of, um, uh, pitfalls with the particular subject, and it's even more difficult given how important it is. If nothing else, we can definitely say this Oku isn't doing anything good for that kind of education. Yes, it is a bit overstimulating having to fend off the advances of a lavicious, less, less lascivious, lascivious goddess of love at every turn. At least it seems as though there have been fewer of her, and again, maybe that's why. This is a dead end. Maybe this is the Labyrinth's way of telling us to give those Kama clones more attention? If we want to proceed, maybe we have to go down the paths where there's more of them. I see, so we need to wade further into this den of depravity. Lord Tanner, please be I mean, rest assured, if need be... I'll hold my hands over your eyes to stop you from seeing anything you shouldn't. Just make sure not to poke my eyes out or anything. I'm almost a legal adult in this, and they're still treating me like this. That's, that's, that, that sucks. I mean, it also makes sense from her perspective, because if she is an old woman, then yeah, charming. Fancy looking corridor, like an entertainment district. It's the wall market of this place. Kind of. 
It's fine looking corridor, fit for courtesans. All right, let me go around here. And now we're going to fight something. I will definitely be helpful to get you. Yeah, all right, let's go. Cam is slowly approaching from the back of the corridor. See, now it feels like Resident Evil. Now it feels like they're coming at us, you know, these, these, these monsters. We'll see, we'll see. How many of them are there going to be, though? Ah, just the one, it seems. And we got our snake girls. Heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah. All right, first off. Um, start with some of this to get rid of you, hopefully. Oh yeah, you're done. Goodbye. Ah, uh, sadly they don't seem to actually drop, like, you know, servant parts or something. You know, like, uh, any of those sorts of things that give us, um, tokens or the gold tokens there. I would have liked those, but alas. Okay, let's just finish this off. Let's go one, two, three. All right. I just realized we totally picked, you know, Scheherazade here is not, you know, a type matchup, but hey, she still did it. Okay. Boy, they sure speak a lot at the end of battles and you can't tell what they are without going into the menu and checking their voice lines, which at least the options there. I kind of wish there was full battle dialogue stuff, but I guess that would be annoying and you'd eventually just turn that off once you know what they're saying, huh? Eh, that's fine. Okay, we got this place now. Bewitching Corridor. This corridor seems to continue. Yes, it does. It's a long one, it seems. We go like... Like, do 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 All the way up here. Bewitching Corridor. There's a resplendent room at the end of the corridor. It's like a room from an entertainment district. Okay. And no battles here. Okay. The room looks to be a waiting room for maidservants, but there's nobody here. Well, I guess we're going to continue on in. It's going to be... Oh, well. No battles. A sweet scent wafts from the end of the corridor. But there is, is there nothing there? Or does it continue on? I'll take all these serpent jewels, though. Man. This is real good for just free, free items, huh? No wonder the store doesn't have a ton. Also, this room is worryingly designed. Room of mystification. Strangely shaped room is enveloped by a sweet aroma. I think it's meant to be a manji. You know, it makes sense because it's all Buddhist, Buddhist style, so. Okay, we'll grab. Oh. Yes. And you get a buff. Sounds good. Actually, you know what? Heck. Let's do that just because you're stronger anyways. All right. Cam is waiting in the center of the room. All right. Well, let's go and get her. Oh. I I am feeling so far a bit exhausted from this event. It's going to be nice, because after this, I pretty much can just chill out and not worry for a while, right? So that's the good news, at least. And who knows, if I beat this before I beat, um, Fate Extra, I might just start that as the, uh, for, for going on to Tsukihime, but we'll see. We'll see. That is the next thing, of course, because it is important that I get to that. Okay. Nice damage. Whoa, so close. Oof, okay, well that's fine. Let's go... One, two, no, let's go, let's do this. Kill and move on, and then we'll finish up that snake princess. 
Dunzo! Didn't even need another. Thanks for all the hairpins, too. Definitely seems like as you go on, the hairpins get much easier to find. That said, we already got almost everything we needed with the, uh, from this store. I mean, I'm going to use it up to get all the rest of the materials, but all the important stuff. Then again, it might unlock some new, some new things. Oh, and I did get some more stat of things. I actually have to put those on Saber. In fact, I might do that, like, right now, because I, I want to remember to do that. Thank you for the jewel. Thank you for the lantern. Okay, so let's go... I uh, do that right now. Yeah. Servant. Pop that on you. Yeah. Big buffies, big buffies, look at that. Also, they're like nearly even again. Nice. Yes, so strong. She'll be the strongest, and I cannot wait for her next rank up there too, because hearing what it oh, hearing what it does is so incredibly broken sounding. Spellbinding key. That looks like it goes back to where we were. Spellbinding sweet or bo oh, body temp. Floor is slightly warm. Gross. I don't like the idea of the floor being body temperature. In fact, the term body temperature is kind of horrible. It appears the floor is heated. The warmth feels nice. That said, we used to have heated ceramic tiles in my parents' bathroom, and like there is nothing better than sneaking in there just to stand on these warm tiles. Like it's so good. I loves it. Let's move you to the back just for size. Um, in fact, let's move you to the front there. All right, there we go. There are lots of lanterns. Okay, thank you for that. Thank you. So, let's see. What what sort of lanterns are we going to be fighting? Are they going to be like... Oh, one unique enemy that I encountered while just going through Labyrinth was like these crystals. Like str Oh, of course. But like straight up like Final Fantasy crystals. I When I saw them, I'm like, huh. Okay. Final Fantasy crystals. Like they were just ex pretty much explicitly them. It was kind of cool, actually. Um, just surprising to see for sure. Get you your gauge. Why not? Just free 50. Why not? Pop that on. Uh, give you some effects. You don't have a ton of HP anyways, so you know what? Let's pop this attack up. And let's go... 100... 100... 100, okay. Oh yeah. Good stuff. Okay. Let's grab that and go Ooh. further down the halls. I'm not going to say this is going to be the last part because I, 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 for one, know that there is a after you go through the five floors and there is more stuff. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll also see, of course, like, you know, once we get to the part where, like, story stops for a bit, you do some stuff and then you can continue on. They do that occasionally. We'll see. Okay, so we have the choice between flushed body or hateful. I mean, it could be the bottom one, but it's warm. No, it's getting hot in here. I'm going to take off all my clothes. Oh, that's literally what she's doing, huh? The heat is making your face red. Time to grab ourselves a nice iced boss coffee from a vending machine. Intense heat can be felt through the door. Yeah. And... Yeah, let's go. Consumed with passion. Corridor's burning. Watch out. Uh-oh. Is it literally... Oh my god, it's literally on fire. Sections of the corridor are black and burned. Is this where you find Entei, Raiko, and Suicune? Oh, it looks like we got a Kama and something else. Thank you. Okay. The flame burns brighter and attacks! And a camera's there. She's just chilled. We're at the point already where we're like, we don't even bring up the fact that there's a there's a camera here. You know? Like, do do we bring it up? No. 
it's there. We just, it's not that important. Okay. No, never mind, there's not. Okay. Palace bonfire, huh? Just chilling with the bonfire. Pop an attack for three turns. Okay, and let's go one, two, three. Let's do as much as we can. You're done. You're done. You're nearly done. That she did a lot more than I expected. Because she only gets 100% up, so... Nice. Finish this off. Goodbye. Wow, give me those drops. Alright. Grab that, grab that, let's go. It's gonna be a dead end. I don't think so. I think this is one where, like, all paths go to the right place. It feels like it. It doesn't feel like the other... It feels like all the paths are just taking their own way of getting to the end, you know? We'll see. Never mind. I'm super wrong. I'm super explicitly wrong. Let's go hateful. The wood texture of the corridor resembles meat. Ew. Don't like that. I guess it kind of looks marbled, huh? Now that you're thinking of meat, you find yourself craving a steak. Oh, good AAA Wagyu steak. Heck yeah, man. Ooh, okay, free. You want to go to a restaurant and eat steak stat? One of my favorite places I ate in Tokyo was a place called the Meat Building, where every floor was a restaurant that specialized in one type of meat. And of course, you went to the, the beef floor, and it was so good. So good. Moody. Or muscular. Oh, give me, give me a rip. Yeah. Floor is soft. It almost feels plump to touch. Give me the muscles, please. Wait, plump? That doesn't make sense. It feels like you're walking on top of someone's butt. <gasps> Wait a second. Huh. Let's see. This memory foam-like texture. It's really nice. That's not really... Oh, so when you say muscular, you mean like muscle, not like ripped abs okay okay kind of would have preferred the ripped ads not not the like muscle but oh hello bursting all kinds of stuff is crammed into the closet okay yeah that's a lot huh well you've got a bunch of enemies too wow a bunch of enemies in fact it's not even that great to use you guys huh what do we got um you know, Berserker would probably be really good. Yeah, let's go with you. And we'll switch you guys off for... Let's see here. Who'd be useful? You're down. You're just generally up. And we'll go with... Um, your... Ah, uh, no. Bit memes. Let's go. All right, let's see what we got here. Something jumps out from the closet. Well, good for it. I'm happy it's finally accepted that part of its life and wants to share it with us in a way that makes it feel comfortable. You're valid. You're welcomed here. I'm sure nobody else has ever made that joke before. Okay. Just a bunch of shadow servants, huh? Interesting. They're pretty weak, all things considered. Huh. What do we have? Well, we have a full combo with you is what we have. So let's do that to get rid of you, then. Let's pop this on. Okay, so let's do one, two, three. Do your stuff. Get rid of Kagaboshi A. Alright, now... Oh, well, we, we got this now. Look at this, and we're gonna give that to you. Gonna give that. Give that. Oh, said that. We're gonna give that. Gonna give that. 
we don't need that. Okay, so we're gonna go... This'll kill... Two, three. That should be good. We'll see. There's because there's no way he won't kill with this hit. Yeah, 166. Come on. Look at these numbers. Look at these redonkulous numbers. They're so crazy. I love it. Yeah, leveling up Chiyomi was a smart move here. Let's see. Is there anything else here? Okay. Let's see. Do we go further? I feel like this is a dead end. No, oh, hey, there is there is more rooms. Well, this looks like it doesn't go anywhere for sure. That's a peach room. You can go there. Corridor that crosses the line. There's a suspicious looking line drawn on the floor. Feels like it shouldn't be crossed. We're going to cross the line. Room that cross. <laughs> room that crosses a line. That's fun. I like that. Um, hey, can I get this, please? Thank you. And we'll get you back to you and back to you. Aight, let's go. Oh, sorry, I didn't click. Somebody in my Discord posted a gif of Shermy from KOF, and I was just mesmerized by it. I apologize. Oh boy, that was really embarrassing. I shouldn't have. I have two monitors now, so occasionally I just bring up Discord just to check if anything important's happening in the world, you know. And uh, that that led to that pregnant pause, which is not good. It looks like we crossed the line ourselves, you know. Okay. Well, anyways, let's get through these characters. Well, I guess this is where we're getting all of the, uh, all these guys from. You know, all these ones in their, uh, fighting incarnations. The ones that get the bonuses. They're not really part of the story, per se, it seems. It's like, okay, that's fine. So let's go one, two, three. Yep. Ah, oh, so close. Okay. Oh, you're actually dealing a lot of damage, huh? So this time, let's do the same thing, but this time better. Uh, we'll do this on you. We'll pop this. And they are debuff immune. But let's see, is it for all them? Okay, that was an experiment. So debuff immune, doesn't matter how many debuffs you have, it will hit them for all of them. Okay, interesting, interesting. That was an experiment on my behalf. I wanted to see. Okay. So it's like, if you have a debuff immune, it removes all of it for the single thing. Okay, good to know, good to know. That's actually really- so even if someone has like a ridiculous number of debuffs, if it's all in one turn, if it's all in one attack per se, uh, that debuff immune will be really good. Okay, good to know. That's good for my Cisnai, who has, of course, debuff immune, or even Ilya, who can give debuff immune. That was a dead end. Okay. Room that goes upstairs. It's a small staircase. Wait, upstairs. Are we actually going upstairs? Oh, just a small staircase and it immediately comes back down, huh? There don't seem to be any traps. I thought it would take us to, like, floor four there, but it doesn't. There's a small coin. Will this come in handy? Probably. Because it feels like they wouldn't do that otherwise. Maybe we need that to unlock a door in another part of this area. We'll see. Maybe it'll be literally up here. Corridor to mature. Speaking of KOF, there's a sign that says Toll Adult One Coin Children Free. <laughs> well, we, we can't pay for everyone, so in that case... Um... Okay, so we got our two there, and then the only other one we need is a yeah, you for them. Yeah, because then we got that going on otherwise. 
let's pay the adult toll using the coin you just found. We still, we obviously aren't paying enough for our whole party, so that's why we're getting, we're fighting. Fair, it's understandable. I too would fight the police over toll. Okay, that's the thing. We don't have toll roads or toll booths or anything like that here. And yet my, my entire, um, you know, like whenever I use my GPS, it's like, you know, do you want to avoid toll roads? I'm like, we don't have those. Those don't exist. Like, why would you even ask that? All right, here we go. Let's do tack up. Let's do... That's only for one turn for you. Critical strength up. Yep, we want that with you. Uh, debuff resist. No, it's fine. Do an attack. Do this up, and then we'll do the attack up. Yep, and so let's go... One... Let's just go one, two, three. All right, let's try this. Wow, that didn't do nearly as much as I expected. Probably because it didn't crit, right? Yeah, probably. Lineage excitation, okay. All right, let's go... Just do this. Just realize he's not even there as someone who can attack. Amazing. Great job, me. Let's do this. And let's go one, two, three. Okay, here we go. You're done. You will die to this, and then your guts, yep. Okay. I find these shadow servants almost easier than some of the other regular encounters we've had here. The ghosts are a lot scarier. The ghosts are really spooky. And one ghost gave us a lot of trouble. And we, I mean, we still won. There was trouble for a bit there. Okay, so... Thank you. Thank you. Hollyhock room. Speaking of ghosts, right? Let's see here. Um, 250% on you. That's a lot, actually. That's pretty good. Um, you want to do that? Yeah, I think that's smart. Because big damage and we avoid the damage from you. Um, sure. Let's give this a shot. There this goes. What is a hollyhock? I mean, if, if, if it's a sex thing, then of course I wouldn't know about it, but that's just beside the point. Okay, to Google. Let me Google this. What is a hollyhock? Oh, it's a type of flower. Huh. A flower from the Americas. It's a nice little pink flower. Okay. I've never thought myself superior to others. I've never assumed I know better than them. But at times I've wondered why people think the way they do. We choose and recommend good things because they are good. We shun bad things because they are bad. Oh, if only it were that simple on the internet. Almost everything in this world proceeds smoothly as long as one keeps those two ideas in mind. Politics, relationships, economics. And though I only experienced it once, even war was no exception. You cannot clearly ascertain which is the good and which is the bad, all you need to do is compare them. If it is difficult to compare them, all you need to do is try another perspective that makes comparison easier. That is all. Which is why I could never understand why following this process led to me being known as Wise Izu. Ah, oh, it's you. This is not wisdom. All I ever did was follow this logic to its natural conclusion. I did what needed to be done and refrained from doing what should not be done. It is a simple process, as straightforward as the spring that drives mechanical dolls. If it is wound, they move. If not, they stay still. There's nothing more to it. I knew there were some who did not like me for constantly taking such a simple approach. Those people would say that I was clever, but also cold and heartless. <coughs> oh! Oh man, even I'm getting his, uh, mannerisms. There's nothing I could do about that. That's the only way I know. When that woman proved herself a genuine deity beyond any doubt and humiliated Tokugawa beyond measure, same logic I have always followed determined this was good. 
Nobody can defeat a god, no matter how hard one tries. Oh, we're gonna show him how wrong he is, therefore. Uh, speaking of, it is futile to pass through this floor without succumbing to its temptations. Why can you not see that? Lord Nobutsuna, oh my, this is just... Oh my, what happened to you? Even in my worst nightmares, I never dreamed you would degrade yourself like this. Yikes, look at all them waiting on him. He looks like an old-timey villain surrounded by a harem. Look at the opening to see a good picture of that. What is the meaning of this, Matsudaira Izunokami? You forgo alcohol and tobacco, but drown yourself in women? Nobody is... what is wrong with that? Of course, people will indulge in what they think to be good, Lord Muninori. You only choose to indulge in alcohol and tobacco because you found them to be good. Neither alcohol nor tobacco ever tasted good to me, so I avoided them as something bad. That's all there is to it. Still, I will admit, I did not know how enjoyable this was until I was given the opportunity to experience it. There's nothing quite like having women wait on you hand and foot. Not just any women, but limitless copies of the goddess of love herself. No ordinary woman could ever hope to compare to that. Not the fairest princess, nor the most glamorous courtesan. No human could possibly resist drowning in such pleasures. Oh my, that much? Stop, I don't want to hear that sort of thing from a man I raise as though he were my own son. Now, now, he can't help who he's attracted to. All I want to know is, are you going to let us pass or not? Because it kind of sounded like you weren't. No, my thoughts and the foolhardiness of your endeavor are merely my own personal opinion. If Lady Kama wishes it, I will gladly step aside. But as I suspected, it seems she wishes to engage in the pleasures of the flesh with all of you as well. You mean fighting, right? You mean... Are, 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 okay. So it would seem... Yoku's innermost chambers should be just past this room. This is the climax of the story. Are you sure it'll be okay, Lord Tanner? As you're acting wet nurse, I can't help but worry. You're not going to see something that's um, a bad influence on you. I'm more grown up than you think. To help you. Um, okay, there are plenty of worse influences than this in Kaldia. That's the better answer. Oh my. It's alright, Sibona. It doesn't matter what Kama or Matsudaira say. As long as we don't do what they want, it'll just be an ordinary battle. I'm still concerned that we don't know what exactly these Kama clones are. But for the time being, I'm not going to worry about anything except securing the final path to our goal. Tanner, your orders, please. Don't fight. You have a bad type matchup. Let's get a better team going. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Last time, the, the last battle with the ghost was tough. We'll see if this battle will be... Uh, will, will work better. We'll see here. Okay. Uh, it's just a three of them. Okay, that's not too, too bad. And now you are Berserker, so we want to deal with you first, obviously. Um, we have a full support combo with her, so you know what? Let's go... None of... Well, do any of these help? Decrease defense? Or increase defense? Let's increase your defenses. Yeah, because you're not going to inflict charm on them. Yeah. Um... Decrease attack? Nah. Uh, might as well pop these for better arts up. Because we'll see here. Okay, we're going to go one, two. Let's go one, two, three. Let's try and get a full combo with full meter gain so that we can hopefully get her uh, super off there. We'll see here. Oh, only 50% roughly, right? Yeah, 49, huh? Oh, okay, will that affect you? I was going to say, that's not going to affect any of them, huh? Pop that on. You know what? Let's go... Let's do this the one turn here. And let's go one... Two... Let's just go... Let's try and get big meter. Let's do that. Try and get some supers ready to go. Overall, already I can see this is not going to be as hard. There's no break gauge to worry about for one. Uh, let's go one, two, three. Okay. Alright. Um, so now, 
Let's go. Yeah, one, two, three. Okay, that should kill her. And should hopefully let us get enough for a double super? We'll see here. No, not double. Never mind. Well, at least one super. Okay, there we go. Well, if Kama decides to hit. So far, she hasn't. Please hit the middle one. Nope. Okay. All right. Um, This ain't that hot. Okay, that's good. Let's do this. Because that'll hurt. Okay. Oh, you already have guts. Okay. Um, let's try and do as much as we can then. And pop this on you. Okay, so let's go one. Two, three. Yeah, just to try and move on if we need to. Okay. Okay, we got one to deal with left. Okay, you'll do... Oh, they don't have access to their noble phantasms. Right? Yeah, okay. Okay, they don't they don't have access, so we're not we're not concerned. Okay. I I swore they would all have it, and that'd be the problem. But if they don't, then that's not a problem. Because then it's just a case of, yeah, dodge it. No no need to worry about, you know, status conditions or stuff. Okay. Righto, righto. Moving on. Thanks for the feathers. Again, those are useful. Because there was a time when those were the worst things that I needed to get, and now I can get them pretty clearly and freely. Oh, and we get another skill upgrade. Oh, and another flashback. Which one are we getting this time? I know they say great... Ooh. Great heroes are fond of the pleasures of the flesh, but without any concubines, it's no wonder some people think he's a maniac. What are the people of Japan supposed to think with a lecherous shogun like that leading them? If only he would devote half as much energy to governing as he does to the bedroom. What's wrong with having lots of children? I was taught that children are our greatest treasure. That the more children I have, the safer... Watch this be. It's like you just obtained Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's inro. That'd be the funniest. So why do they all speak of me with such disdain? Why do they go around calling me the lecherous shogun or worse? You haven't done anything wrong. Children are power. Having many of them is far better than letting your bloodline die. I love your desire to have many descendants. I can give you as many concubines as you like. If you tire of one, there will always be someone new to take her place. Now come, let's go to the Oku. You can stay there as long as you like, whenever you like. For the Oku exists solely for you. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. God, that'd be so funny. A foolish. If you've only given in to your desires and consigned yourself to wandering the Oku for eternity, you would have been happy. Once you go beyond this room, you will cough, cough, cough. I'm not coughing now because I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it later anyways. Allergies, man. Let's go after him. There's no point in staying here any longer. Okay, but let's make sure we're at least minimally prepared first. Plus, it looks like they dropped another pillbox. I would like to hurry on, but I suppose you're right. Once we go down those stairs, I'm certain we'll find everyone who was abducted. We must rescue them no matter what. They are the reason we have all come this way. Not scared? Uh, I suppose not. I wonder why that is. Hey, character development. I do have a feeling that any other version of me would be curled up in terror under our circumstances. But now I think I know something no one other than me does. Yes, dying is painful and scary, and I am terrified of it. But I also have other thoughts, feelings, and wishes that are precious for me. And I am just as scared of losing them as I am losing my own life. Oh, that's nice. So think at this point. I want to ensure not just my own survival, but that of the people I have come to care about as well. Yay, character development! Though I did originally draw my sword in order to rescue Lord Iemitsu, my true wish for my sword is to help others lead better lives. I was already prepared to use it, but if it can make help your wish make help make your wish come true as well, it would be my honor to do so, fear not. Thank you. At long last, we're about to penetrate the innermost sanctum, the deepest reaches of this misbegotten Oku. Reaching such a private place is no easy feat. I wonder what manner of tantalizing climax can it... Can you stop, Bayonetta? Come on. Come on. Pillbox, whose is this? 11th Shogun Tokugawa Ienari. Okay. Boy, you can get many different EA 
you know, names. And, and ironically, EA is written IE, not EA. All right, Quartz. And the path downstairs, right? Oh, no, not just yet. Enchanting Corridor. Honestly, this labyrinth is huge. <laughs> yep! That it is. Enchanting Corridor. Maybe all this time spent wandering the labyrinth has gotten you used to this place. Maybe. Everything looks so familiar now. Heck, this place could be my second home at this point. Maybe it's better to say that your body's adapting. Changing. That's not a good thing, actually. A hundred free cubes? You feel like you want to stay. What a strange sensation. No, I don't. I do want to leave, actually. Take those, for sure. Tomorrow is going to be uh, a new... Uh, well, the day after tomorrow. It's going to be a new set of stuff for those, so it's going to be nice. Dreamy Hallway. How did the Shogun during the Tokugawa period feel about this Oku? Huh. Oh, yep, there's a staircase. Oku is the Tokugawa, and the Tokugawa are the Oku. What are you talking about, buddy? You're having a bit of a weird moment, man. Are you, are you not finishing your sentences, or are your sentences slurring together? Whoa, you do get a lot more as you go there. It stairs to the lowest level, huh? Like, that gave me a lot there. Oh! There's a level 6. Inner, well... Okay. Act 7, God of Love. Innermost part of the Oku. Alright, well... Uh, you know what? Let's just go default... Let's see, what can we get here? This gives you Noble Phantasm Gaming and Crit Strength up. That should be good. We got that. We got that. Okay, you know what? I'm going to switch you off, actually, for better attack, honestly. Actually, no. Let's go single target attack. Where is she? Right there. She's better. Um, okay, yep. Let's see here. Now, is this a floor, or is this just a single area? I sure hope it's a single area and not an entire dedicated floor. We'll see. Because it's... We'll see. Oh, well. <laughs> it's about time we got here. Go! Gone! Kick back and relax. That's an order from the Shogun. He's here? I knew you told us what happened, but I still can't believe how fu I mean, weird this is. His mind must have been tampered with like ours were. Hang in there, director. We'll save you. Still failed to understand how unbelievably foolish. Now, now, that's just how humans are, you know? Just when you think they can't possibly get any dumber, they say something like that. Ugh, so hopeless. But no matter how much I detest them, I can still love them anyway. I am the god of love, after all. So she is capable of loving humans without actually loving them. Ah. Uh. We may seem similar on the surface, but we have absolutely nothing in common. Be quiet, no more nonsense. I want to know where you are keeping Lord Iemitsu. You don't really think I'm just going to tell you that, do you? No, I can see you don't. So I'm going to surprise you by actually answering honestly. I have to admit that when you hate someone, it's fun to take the wind out of their sails. Anyway, Iemitsu was it? The Shogun who was originally here? Oh yes, he was the first anchor. Very important. That's why I'm holding on to him myself. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Oh, our, wait. Did she just take up that out of her cleavage? No, it, it came out of her chest. Isn't that a pillbox? Uh-huh. These are the anchors. They're the Shogun's life energy. Their souls, basically, all wrapped up in neat little packages. And please don't ask what it is they're anchoring. Even you clowns have worked out that it's the Oku, right? You say that pillbox you hold is actually Lord Iemitsu's soul. That's right. Tell you what, I'll be ex- Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I see what you're doing. Extra nice and start at the beginning. When I first showed up here, I started out by creating a single room that I could make into anything I liked. It was a tiny little zone. A part of me, in a way. 
that I could fit into a bit of empty space inside the real Oku. I then invited Lord Iemitsu to join me there once he paid the Oku a visit. All it took was a few words and a few steps off his usual path. Once he came inside, I entertained him myself. I didn't stop until he was satisfied. I didn't stop until he forgot about everything else. He must have been so exhausted from his duties because he put up almost no fight at all. How dare you be so brazen with Lord Iemitsu? I'm just telling it like it is. Anyway, after I'd gotten a hold of Lord Iemitsu's soul, I followed his bonds, his connections to gather more material. I started with the other people in the Oku, and then I spread out to cover everyone in the Edo Castle. I dipped down into the nearby castle town too, but only a little here or there. And then used those people's souls to build this false Oku? Oh no, I still didn't have nearly enough material for that. That's why I next decided to follow Lord Iemitsu's connections vertically. And by that I mean through time to his past and future. Ah. Huh. Lord Iemitsu had a lot of deep ties and all sorts of concepts. The Tokugawa family, the Shogun, the Shogunate. So I went looking for people with some connections to those, both in the past and future. And I basically took all their life energy, sorry, their souls, and made them into materials. You mean all the pillboxes we've been collecting are actually... That's right, they're the souls of several shogun from the past and future. As you'd expect, being a shogun is very significant, so I made all of them into anchors. Still, I only used them as guidelines when I was making the other floors, so I didn't really need any of them besides the first one once I was done. In the end, I just repurposed them as a power source for my attendants. Wait, have you been collecting them and using them yourself? Oh, that's so touching. So then after you built this Oku, that was when you came after Kaldia. You tricked Gorodolf into coming here, then used his bonds to perform a reverse summon attack on Kaldia. <laughs> Did someone say my name? Come now, why are you still standing there? Go on, have a seat. You have my permission. There's plenty of delicious food and drinks and delectable roast beef for everyone. Maybe we should gag him for a bit so he doesn't ruin the mood. Alright, I understand how you made this Oku, but I still don't understand what your goal is. I'm sure you didn't make this place just for fun. You obviously want to use it for something. While we're on the subject, I also want to know why you attack Kaldia. Is it because we posed a threat to the Singularity Zone that showed up thanks to your messing with the timeline? Are you still- are you trying to grow it so that it destroys all of human- <sighs> Ah, sorry there, Parvati. You were so hilariously off base that I couldn't even make- help but make a goofy face. My goal, really? You're still struggling with something that simple? Damn, you never change. Just like you couldn't figure out what would happen to a god who was ordered to get Shiva's attention by firing an arrow. You can't tell what's going on here either, huh? You're the best at being just the worst. Then again, maybe you don't want to get it. I hate to break it to you, but that innocent act of yours got old ages ago. Simple goal? Making a singularity? Using it to destroy humanity? Wrong, I couldn't care less what happens to this place. I didn't have to use the Tokugawa bonds. I didn't have to make a new Oku at all. It could have been the Topakani Palace Harem or China's Inner, Pal China's Inner Palace. It's all the same to me. I only went with the Oku because it happened to catch my eye at the right time. Yes, it happened to just be the right kind of place to drown you in my love, Tanner. Ha! Huh. Then your true goal was... That's right. I've only wanted one thing all along. You, Tanner. Oh, oh my. What do you call it? Novum Kaldia? It would be impossible for me to do anything with a bizarre place like that. The only reason I could manage it at all, Tanner, is because you and I are tied together through fate. That, ooh, yeah, that's it. That's the franchise. It was all thanks to that fate that my voice was able to reach, Kaldia. I'd hope that just inviting you here would be enough, like it was with Chubbs here. But once the alchemist caught on and got in the way, I decided to have you make your way through this Oku of your own volition. I can see you tried all sorts of tricks to get around it, but sorry, none of them worked. You might not have gotten as much as you, I'd hoped, but you still accepted my love and made your way deep inside me. And now it's taken effect. Whoa, we're fading out. What's, what's, what's happening? Master, are you okay? Please stomp out of it. Mental attack, no, it's... Hey, worthless human, the one crawling around on the floor, what's your name? My name is... My name is Tokugawa. Uh-oh. Fools, even with an example right in front of you, still fail to realize the truth? 
Could have come on, no need to prostrate yourself, Tatter. Soku is a curse that's designed to turn anyone who makes their way to the innermost sanctum by breaking the fried precepts into Tokugawa. If we define the Oku as a place devoted to the Shogun's pleasure, then anyone who experiences pleasure there would have to be a Shogun, right? That's not how it works, but okay. I see now. All this time I failed to grasp the greater picture. You weren't trying to corrupt Master to indulge in further depravity. You wanted to corrupt him to turn into a Tokugawa. What an absurdly obtuse way of expressing your love. Would you kindly shut the hell up? You're making a distraction of yourself. Anyway, Chubbs there is in Brainwash. He was the first one invited to the Soku after I completed it. He turned out to be a perfect subject for my tokugawa experiment. That's a freaking fun word. I've never heard of such a massive specialized spell as that in all the stories I've even read. If you are a divine spirit, there's no way you could easily... Yes, I can, thanks to the power of my love. All I have to do is prove it. When I prove my love, it makes the concept behind this oku I created even stronger. That's why I went with this particular kind of labyrinth. What did you think? The five precepts were perfect for proving my love, weren't they? People seem to have the idea that they won't go to hell as long as they don't do those things. So when I thought I'd suggest doing them all and enjoying yourself on the way to the hell. After all, doing what is forbidden feels so good. So go ahead, it's okay, just do whatever you want. No matter how much you kill or how much you lie. Or how much you drink, or how much you steal, or how much you fornicate. That, oh, you really, wow, you're just popping out that word, huh? Really, no matter how worthless you are, I'll still love you even if you go to hell. That is the proof of my love. Whatever you want to do, I'll accept it unconditionally and love you anyway. That's not love at all. It's the definition of depravity. Find the word however you like. It does not matter. Reci uh, the recipients of Lady Kama's love will inevitably end up becoming Tokugawa, just like this man. Once they become Tokugawa, they will never escape Heroku. My name is Tokugawa Tanner. He snap out of it, Master. You're not a Tokugawa. You're just Tanner. Right. I may be your acting wet nurse right now, but that's only because I sensed you had talent. I never meant that you were a Tokugawa Shogun in your own right. Please, get a hold of yourself. I would ask the two of you continue talking to Master. He tried a different tactic. Yes, simple though it may be, I can see the path we must take to bring this story to a close. All that said, I guess Tanner's Tokugawification is taking longer than I expected thanks to your pointless attempts to resist it on your way here. Fine, I see how it is. I'll just have to give Tanner one last push to send him tumbling into hell myself. Once he experiences pleasure here in the Okuku's innermost sanctum, he'll no longer be able to resist turning into a Tokugawa. We have to save everyone! Even listening to me, young man? Oh, you're so annoying. Look, I'll fill you in on a little secret. I don't even remember where I put everyone from Kaldia, human or servant. They could be in the staircase you just came down, or they could be in one of the countless wallboards you walked by. Alright, I probably shouldn't say this, but the only way you'll ever free them is by getting rid of me. Well, okay, well, thank you. That doesn't sound so easy, does it? That's because it's not, but don't worry, it's okay. I might despise everyone besides me. Worthless gods, hopeless humans, and pathetic servants alike. In fact, the very thought of them might make me want to puke. But even though I'll always despise you, I'll still love you forever and ever till the very end. Yeah, this is the most Yandere, actual Yandere servant. Like, right? Like, we made the jokes about, like, you know, um, a couple others whose names don't, like, you know, like, um, who is there? I don't even remember. She's the most. Holy crap. Like, the definition. We'll see. Okay, you got a break bar. Good for us to know. Yeah, that makes me curious about when it's going to be used. Um, let's start with... I should do a full combo with you, actually. Sure, let's do that to get started. Okay. Actually... How long does hero creation last? Three turns? Yeah, pop that on you. Because we got one, two, three with you. That'll be real good. Yeah, let's pop that. Let's go one, two, three. Do as much as you can. And then next turn, hopefully we'll get more with her. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. Oh, you love to see it. All 
All right. Um, oh, we got a full Ilya combo. You know what? Honestly, I think that should be enough to hopefully break the gauge. So let's do that with you because you get a big attack up. You could do 66 with that. I think so. Ah, uh, mm, might actually be. Oh no, we did it just barely. E Desuyo, yes, E Desuyo. Come, let me love you. Attack down, charm resist, blessing of the goddess. Overcharge it. That heal was a non-heal. It actually was not a heal. Um, you still have that. That's perfect. So we can do this. Okay, let's go this. Let's do this on you. Let's do this. Wait, that should give you enough for your super too. Nice. Okay, so let's go. Oh, you don't have a full one. Never mind. That's fine. We'll still, you know what? We'll go. Actually, will this give you enough if I do this? Let's see here. Do you have one that gives meter? You do increase your gain. Nope. Okay. So let's go like this. Okay, let's see here. Good number. Get a defense down. Ooh, this is going to be pretty good, huh? I mean, we're not, we, we'll see. Let's see how much we get. That's a lot. That's a lot. Holy crap. Well, we're going to do this, huh? We just need a little bit of extra. Wow, okay. All right. Here we go. Nice job, everyone. Way. Okay. Sounds good. Let's continue. That was not too bad. How is this happening? My sword refuses to do as I wish. It feels heavy. Would you stop wasting my time already? I really, really couldn't care less about all that. You can do anything with passion and hard work. Crap, it just makes me want to vomit. Try to pull off that nonsense on me again and I'll just put you, it'll put me into an even fouler mood. Great, here it comes. You dragging this out has gotten me a bit fired up. I'm not even trying to release it. It's just slipping out. Yep. Emma, what happened to you? As if you didn't know. Your freaking hubby did this to me, if you don't recall. It looks like her arms and legs are burning. What is that glow? You guys really have no idea what I am, huh? Not even with good old Parvati here. This is so terrible, it's fun. I bet there's all sorts of things you don't have a clue about. Well, here's some food for thought. What do you think you all are right now? Huh? The other floors might have been borderline, but this inner chamber is me. You're all literally enveloped in me and my love. Go on, take a look around. See for yourselves what the love enveloping you right now truly is. Is it gonna be a womb? Are we in a womb? Is the map gonna reveal it's gonna be her whole body? Let's see. Base of corruption. Wow, we are zoomed the frick out. Okay. This is intriguing. Got me got me surprised. Yep, this look at this Sonic Riders multiplayer battle mode stage three. The one with the UFO. We're in space. Oh no, are you you can't be. So you finally figured it out, Parvati. That's right. I'm Angana, the formless one. How did I end up this way? Why, because Shiva incinerated me with his third eye, of course. I know that story. The god Shiva was so deep in meditation that not even Parvati could reach him. The god sent you to get Shiva's attention using your arrow of love, but when you did, he flew into a rage and opened his third eye, turning your body to ash. Let me tell you what happened as a result of getting dragged into that little shit show. As you can tell from my expression, it's just hilarious. 
Shiva's third eye and the unfathomable power it possesses turned me to ash. That power was just capable. That power was capable of incinerating the universe itself. It didn't just disintegrate my body. It made my very essence into something vague and hazy. Now here's a question for you. Don't worry, it's a real easy one. Let's say there's a void left over from Shiva's incineration standing right in front of you. What is it exactly? Oh, I understand. The more powerful divinity, the greater ramifications our actions will have. Since Shiva's meant to incinerate the universe and he incinerated you, you yourself could now be the universe. Don't think that's how it works. Because that's like saying, since I could microwave a hot dog and I microwaved a hamster, the hamster is now a hot dog. That's not how it works. <laughs> That's that's not how math works. It's not how the, okay. The argument is humanity, blah 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 blah. But okay, you know we're gods, and on the conceptual level, you and the universe are now fundamentally linked. I can't even with this universe stuff. True, it doesn't make any sense. Normally, be too much for someone to handle, but that wasn't the case for me. I was no ordinary god of love. Since this is the climax, I'll make it nice and simple. I'm a demon king. I knew it. You're Mara. That's right. This I totally had spoiled for me. It's the penis demon. It's the penis demon from SMT. And the only reason I had this spoiled for me is because I had a few friends and I, we were talking about um, fate designs versus Shin Megami Tensei designs. And like, we'd like throw up, like, you know, because I was talking about like, I think that the, the Satanta from SMT is so stupid looking with his bowl cut. And Kuhulin and even Satanta like looks great. So we were like just sharing some like side by sides. And one of them I saw was Mara and Kama. And I'm like, oh shoot, Penis Chariot. Also, yeah, Penis Chariot is female. I mean, you're still Kama, but the Demon King Mara side of you is much stronger. What does that mean? The divinity known as Kama is also considered to be a separate deity no divinity known as Mara, though they are often conflated. As the embodiment of love and lust, Mara is said to be the ultimate evil, leading all she encounters to their doom. So I know I just said I was a demon king, but I'm still not sh sure there's any point in distinguishing between Kama and Mara. We're both the same thing in the end, it's probably just a case of humans thinking of love as evil. I guess I can see their point, love can arguably make people unhappy just as much as it makes them happy. I always thought this could be a possibility. And I'm sure Sion and Mash considered that the two divinities were linked too since it is a famous story. But even if Kama and Mara are the same being, Mara shouldn't be able to come out that easily, so how is she here now? However she accomplished, we are left with the fact that her presence, l the fact of her presence here and now, we had best accept it. Indeed, I can sense it myself, that is the demon king of the sixth heaven, Papayas, Takejitsaiten. A demon king of love who has gained the power of the universe. Gained? I guess you could say that, but I'm not sure it's entirely accurate. The innermost space inside the Tokugawa Oku is now essentially my self own self-contained universe. But you get it, you're all inside me, even as we speak. So I wouldn't count on being able to use your bodies like normal if I were you. Huh, I'm so heavy. As I said, this is my own universe, my own personal world. I could end all your lives in an instant if I wanted, and you wouldn't be able to do anything about it. And yet, you're gonna fight me? Please. Or what? Are you really gonna take on the universe itself? Don't... Do we tell her what the Lost Belt trees actually are? Don't bother, you can't possibly win. So just give up and enjoy my love. Let my love carry you into the depths of depravity like Chubbs there. Is he just floating around in space? Yep. I say. I was rather taken aback when the lights went out, but it's simply beautiful in here. I guess you could call this a drink of the stars. Oh, this is paradise. Although I say who there, uh, Tatter, was it? Frustrating yourself with respect is all well and good, but I think you may be overdoing it. You look as though you're trying to dig a hole with your head. You need to be a tad kinder to yourself with paying your respects, understood? Otherwise, it'll put me right off my good mood. <laughs> um, Nobutsuna? Would you mind getting him out of here so we don't have to listen to him anymore? As you wish, my lady. Just carrying him out. My, what a rare experience this is. Between how heavy my body feels and how difficult it is to breathe, it truly does feel as though we've set foot in another world. But there's still one thing I don't understand. No matter how you look at it, this is all too much. 
Even if you are Mara the Demon King, you shouldn't be able to wield anywhere near this much of a universe's power. You must still be hiding one more trick. Oh, I see what's going on. I didn't pay you any attention before, given how pathetic your spirit origin is, but now that I take a closer look... Kiara, is it? Well, since you brought it up, I guess I'd better come clean. True, my being Mara is nothing more than a premise. The whole reason I'm here right now is because of another level of power I awakened. And the reason I awakened that is because the scales tipped. What do you mean? See, this is what I'm talking about. Your body already knows what's going on, but your brain can't or won't keep up. A willful idiocy of yours is what I hate most about you, Parvati. You and I are two sides of the same avatar. You must have sensed it when I was born in the rift that lies between us. Isn't that why you came to stop me now that I'm one of the evils of humanity? Oh! Oh, okay. Because your responsibility is the god closest to me. You mean like Goatian Tiamat? If the weight causing a scale tips towards its right side is removed, then of course it's going to dip back down to the left. I mean, it's only natural, right? Mm -hmm. I knew it. I knew it. Now that I've invited you into my own universe and changed this form, I finally understand. You're a fragment of the... Are you the left? You're a fragment of the right vessel, aren't you, Kiara? Yes, I may have been involved in something along those lines before. Though I expect you and I are the only ones here who fully appreciate what that entails. So now that you know what I am, or was, let me ask you again. Why go after Master? A failed beast with a master. What a joke. That's basically my reason right there. When you were still an immature R, it was Tanner himself who stopped you from maturing. So if, as the immature organism opposite to you, I managed to surpass Tanner, then that would mean I evolved further than you ever could. This is how I will become complete. Oh yeah, she's beast third. She's the other beast of third, huh? Yep, okay, yep, that's, that's pretty cut and dry. Wow, that is sick looking. I am what? Oop. I am one of the seven evils of humanity, beast the third, the beast of pleasure. I am the one who will cause humans everywhere to lapse into depravity. So get it through your thick skulls. You're all in the throes of my love, the love of beast the third L. Okay, okay. I might have known she was Mara, but I didn't know that how she's a beast. All right. Time to Google what beast class is like. Um, okay, let's just go FGO. Okay, so let's go uh, to the Tokuyawa walkthrough and just see what weaknesses she have. Because that's important. It's very important to have. Um, okay, let's see here. Um, let's see here. Does it actually say... Okay, Beast receives tw additional damage from Foreigner and Alter Ego. Okay, that's useful to know. That's good to know. Foreigner and Alter Ego are my go-to ones. So, you know what? Let's go and get ones for attack for sure. We still only have the three because if so, uh-oh. If so, rut row. Let's see here. Come on, let's get a big attack up one. Come on, big attack up. 2.30. So, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is that Gillies there? Okay, let's see here. Ah, uh, 2.50. Nice. And let's switch you out for you. Because, like, yeah. Like, that'll be good. I feel like this is... I feel like this is the smart way to go about it. So, we'll see. Okay. All right. We only get three. Fun. Okay, so, let's just see here. So, it says fixed. Can we actually check what those skills are? Nope. Okay. Well. See how we do. <laughs> A beast? You're one of the beasts of disaster that threatens to end all of mankind? Oh, I don't know about ending them all. I just do what I want and let the chips fall where they may. I like the color scheme better with like this though. The red, the red and the white and the blue, that's sick. I loathe humans more than anything, so I'll keep giving them love until they all lapse into depravity. Why is lapse capitalized? I'm a demon king of love and I'm linked to the uni all the universe. There's no limit to what I can do. The universe is infinite and so is love. Apparently, R called herself the orifice of pleasure and the embodiment of self-love and tried to gather all the world's love into herself. But her selfish desires, her goal, and her body all grew so ludicrously big that she ended up at the mercy of servants. 
And to top it all off, she ended up falling apart under her own dead weight. She ended up being more funny than scary, it turned out. But I'm not selfish like that. If anything, I'm the polar opposite. All I want to do is fill all of mankind, all the universe, with my love. You make it sound awfully nice, but you'll have to forgive me if I'm a bit skeptical. Because if you're the same kind of being as Goetia, and he was a disaster for all of mankind, I doubt it's as simple as that. Yes, that would be bad. Very, very bad. If the god of love were to spread her love to all things until everyone everywhere was completely satisfied, that'd be the end of love altogether. Yeah, you need? Yeah, when, when it... Yeah, right? It's sort of like, I'll make it so everyone's happy always. Magic. Boom, bam. Well, now no one's happy. Because you need... You need the bat. It's just a comparative state. Right? It's just a state of comparison. If you were to get rid of... If you were to get rid of sadness and say everyone's always happy, well then everyone would... No one would be happy because there's no comparisons. Right? You no longer need anything from anyone else. Yep. And that means there could never be any new love from uh, others coming into this world. But the recipients of my infinite love will get to enjoy themselves forever and ever. I can satisfy any desire they have. I can rid them of any disappointment they have. I can spoil them utterly rotten no matter how hopeless they may end up. And if I do this for all mankind, does this mean I've saved them? No, no, that can't be right. That isn't real love. Fine, call it depravity if you want. The name really isn't important. A goody two-shoes like you could never understand what's so great about a world like this. The perfect lover should never betray you, never disappoint you, never let you grow bored, never die on you. But you would know that isn't normal because that's the kind of lover you've been promised since you were born. Now come to me, Tanner. I know you're not even close to cured. You've just been so desperately trying to fight it all this time, haven't you? I can't stand to look at you, and you're so garbage I can't help but laugh, but I'll still love you. I'll make sure you're all filled up. You're a Tokugawa now. You have no choice but to indulge in this last pit of depravity. It's Oku to be filled to the brim with my love forever. Go on, you'll feel much better once you give in. Just accept it, and this'll all be over. No, because I want to fight and get the Holy Grail for the end of this. You truly are vermin, endangering master and the Tokugawa family alike. I must cut you down, even if it should cost me my life. We cannot let her have Master. There must be a way, something we can do. Master, hang on to me as much as you need. I don't even care if you have to throw up on me. Gross. No, it's fine. Don't give in. Whatever you do, you can't forget who you really are. Oh, wow, that's just cruel Spartan much, are we? Just put him out of his misery and let me let him, let him give in. It's okay, Tanner. Don't worry about a thing. Just give yourself over to me and lapse into depravity. There's a cold, lonely, endless world, an infinite universe without beginning or end. Here, I'll show you what real love and desire are, just like I did for the one who trained under the Bodhi tree. You don't have to do anything hard. You don't have to search for any meaningless right answers. I can provide infinite depravity for everyone. I can provide eternal satisfaction for all. It's okay, trust me, the fires of my love are more than strong enough to heat up this entire universe. Okay, let's fight. I'm slightly terrified with how hard this is going to be. We'll see. Evil of humanity overflows. Sick. Yo, that is a sick costume. Kamamara. God, that's such a cool costume. Why can't we get that? God, we can have beast on beast combat, huh? Ooh, what? Decrease attack, decrease defense, decrease. Wow. That sucks. At least we can get you going, huh? Increase your attack. Uh, yeah, you have a full combo. Okay, you can do debuff resist down, increase your gauge, you can give... Okay. Well, she hasn't buffed yet, so we're not worried about that. Okay, well, let's start with this. Let's see how much we can do. Let's see here. Okay, at least we can still deal decent damage even like this, huh? Okay. HP loss, it's not a ton. That's, uh, you know, it's a little bit. Mars Ridicule. 
Oh, that's not good. Okay. Okay. Let's take that charge away from you. Okay. Um. Let's go. Debuff resist. Decrease arts resistance. So we have an arts here. We'll use that. Okay, and let's go. Let's do some of this. Okay. Click. Okay, you're close to getting your super. Seductive Sringara. Skill Seal Charm. Uh oh. Okay. Pop that on you for now. Um, random effects, yep. Because you're stunned. We have nothing else we can do here. Okay. About as much as we can do here. Okay. Joining the evils. Critical up. Okay. Well, at least we got that to 100. Okay. Um, let's do this so that we can get a bunch of stuff on you. Okay. Should we try to stun and decrease? Sure. You know what? And then honestly, because you have 250, let's get a full combo with you going. Let's get that going with you. Because then we can go like 1, 2, 3. That'll deal big damage and all that. So let's give that a shot. It's called irony. Alright, let's see how much we get with the crits here. That's a good amount! Okay, and the stun means that we get to go... Oh, we could just do it again with you! I'm not going to do it again, though, because I feel like it'd be better for me to just do damage. But we could almost. Oh, dang. Okay. You're down to one. So if you even get touched, you're done. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So it's single target, though? Okay, well, at least there's that. Sure hope it's gonna be break one gauge and go. Sure hope so. Let's see here. Sure, because it's normally when it's three gauges, you almost never have that as the actual boss. We'll see here. If it is, we're screwed. All right. Oh, thank God. Whew. I was I was actually holding my breath there. I was actually holding my breath because if we needed to fully beat her, then... ruh -ro. Okay. Weren't you listening to me? I told you, you don't stand a chance. How could I let this happen? Not only is she incredibly strong, but she has an overwhelming territorial advantage, too. She doesn't just have the high ground, she is the high- Whoa! That's- that's a next-gen Star Wars Episode 3 meme. It's over, Anakin! I am the high ground! It just pans down to the ground is Obi-Wan. That'd be hilarious! I really do not want to die. We are both immature beasts. I'm certain there's a way I could win. If I break my vow to exist only as a servant of Caldia, I should be able to defeat her. But then what? I don't think defeating her once will put a stop to this. If I am correct about Beast of Third L's nature, then... How did you get so powerful? It shouldn't be possible. Of course it is. I'm neither the Kama nor the Mara you know anymore. I don't want to give up, but... 
So even though your mind and body are both falling apart, your will to resist is still going strong, huh? Wow, look at you flailing around like a bug with its legs torn off. Gross. Nobutsuna. Yes, my lady. I think I'm going to try a different approach. Bring Chubbs in here. Yes, my lady. Oh, are you going to try sacrificing him for us? Uh, what's this all about? Now you're crawling on the ground. I've grown tired of all this playing dog. No more leaving others out either. Don't you lot know that feasts are supposed to be enjoyed together? Forgive them, Lord Shogun. Your glory is simply too much for them to behold. They are so afraid to raise their heads before you they cannot even sit up. Oh, I see, I see. Well, I can certainly understand how they must feel, however. This is the Oku, a place where the Shogun can relax and enjoy himself however he pleases. Besides, knowing what to put formalities aside is the mark of a truly broad-minded Shogun. So I grant you all permission to relax and recuperate here in my glorious Tokugawa Oku as well. Now come on, bring yourselves up and have a seat right here. We can crack open another bottle of wine, put his weight in some delicious meat, and enjoy ourselves here forever. You're not a Tokugawa. Oh, wait. Are you a Tokugawa too? You are, aren't you? Well, all the more reason not to hold back. That would mean we're related. I see, I see. I, I like that. Well, that means I can truly let my hair down. Surely there can't be any problem now. Let's just all relax and enjoy ourselves here. What do you say? What a kind offer that actually I could kind of go for some roast beef. It's the weight of his... What is this weight his words carry? Is that why my sword has felt so heavy? Surely you of all people can understand Tajima no Kami. It's the Oku's innermost chamber, the ultimate place reserved for the Tokugawa Shogun. Here a Tokugawa can truly be who they are. The significance of their title is stronger than ever. Thus, anyone who knows the authority a Tokugawa wields cannot help but obey what they say here. Even if that Tokugawa should be a no Tokugawa, a new Tokugawa from a western country. It's nothing so overt as using your voice to directly control others. It's like an unconscious nudge that makes you feel like going along with whatever they say would be a good idea. Oh, I have that same property too, of course. And for a Tokugawa retainer, I'd imagine this works on an instinctual level before you can even think about reaching for your sword. But for servants who've had their spirit origins pl pummeled half to death or a human on the verge of turning to a Tokugawa himself, that property alone might be strong enough for a finishing blow. No longer have any means with which to fight back. I know Yagyu Tajima no Kame Munenori's strength better than anyone here, and his sword may as well have been made out of heavy stone at this point. It is over. You should have known all along as I do. No one can defeat a god, nor a monster on par with one. Yeah, but what about our meter? If we max out our meter, does that give us- Is it gonna be like, come back when you've maxed out the meter? Because if so, that'll be hilarious. We'll see. No battles, huh? Okay, well, let's continue. It is over. You should have known all along as I do. No one can defeat a god, nor a monster on par with one. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot about you, Kasuga no Sabone, but there's nothing you can do either. You are still a retainer to the Tokugawa family yourself. Oh, what's this now? A beautiful girl like yourself shouldn't go around looking so forlorn. Here, come sit by me. You can pour me a drink and tell me something funny. Don't worry, I'll be sure to reward you. What would you like? Beautiful clothes? A jeweled hairpin? Just tell me what you want and it's all yours. I'm the Shogun, after all. The world is my oyster. I can give you any manner of gemstone you like. I can procure her medicine that will work on any ailment. If there's none to be had, I'll have someone make it. If someone else possesses it, I'll order them to hand over or commit seppuku. So what do you say? Come, entertain me, help me enjoy myself, let me forget all about my troubles. Naturally, if we should hit it off well, I'll be willing to even give you a greater reward. I have plenty of time tonight for us to... You... Yes. You fool. Oh! Dang. This is not how a shogun is meant to behave. Ever. What's going on? She's only a soul. She should feel even more psychological pressure to obey than anyone here. 
the Tokugawa Shogun. He's supposed to be the one who holds all the all of Japan together. He's supposed to be the commander in chief who helps his country keep his country safe. His temperance and courtesy must serve as an example for every samurai in the land. That responsibility does not end when he rests. He must continue to exercise moderation in all things. Overeating is debilitating one's health. Lecherous promiscuity and excessive drinking have no place in a shogun's life whatsoever. Is that clear? <laughs> is that clear? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. It was a flight, just a passing flight of fancy. I don't know what came over me. Oh, it's kind of sad. Because it really seems apparent that Tool was the one who raised Gordolf. And so Tool is almost. I, I, I'm just gonna, and in case you forget, because it took me a while, um, to really understand, Tool was, let me just pull it up here, in case you forgot, Tool, we've, we've met Tool, Tool was an important character that we've seen, uh, in Apocrypha, so like, um, this character, Tool, remember? This character from Apocrypha? Like, yeah, like, that's Tool. So, like, a, really puts things into perspective, huh? There's a surprise, I don't know what came over me. Besides, I'm a grown up now, I have my racing lines and everything, I didn't even cheat to get it. So come on, let me out of this race. I've always wanted to try racing. I know I'm a one-man team. I'm sorry I used the ball of daddy's nest egg. Oh, really? Wait, stop, please. No, not the discipline, Rudy. Tool beat Gordolf? Oh, jeez. Well, now we've I've learned a lot about him here. <clears throat> what have I been doing all this time? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> stop that. Dignitaries are not supposed to cry in public. Tanner, why is one of your servants yelling at me out of nowhere? No way, he's back to normal? The hell? It only took one slap? I must have had some rep serious repressed trauma that, remind that this reminded him of or something. Oh, and I feel bad for him. Hey, wait, can you actually hit him? Technically, he is a genuine Tokugawa Shogun, especially here. How could you possibly stand up to him? Why wouldn't I? If my Shogun is in the wrong, this is exactly what I would do, no matter what the time or circumstance. But the Shogun is the most powerful authority figure in this country. He's like a king. If you treat a king like that, you could easily end up dead. Of course, it's a grave crime to raise your hand to the Shogun. Yes, it's punishable by death. But so what? If it's absolutely necessary to raise a hand to him to ensure he's properly raised, uh, pro raised properly, then refraining is not an option. That's the whole reason I'm here. Once I've admonished the Shogun for his mistake and he understands what he did wrong, if the actions I took are still deemed punishable by death, then I need simply go to my death with my head held high. That is what it truly means to be a wet nurse. Even if my actions end up pointing a blade at my own throat, it is well worth it as long as they guide the Tokugawa Shogun down the right path. My own life is a trivial sacrifice to pay to ensure the leader of all of Japan is raised to know right from wrong. If that is how I meet my end, I would die a happy woman. Oh, she's so mad. Are you freaking kidding me with this crap? That's, that's just, I hate it. I hate everything about it. Just when I thought I couldn't despise humans anymore. You humans don't need to bother with that utter tripe. All you need to do is surrender yourselves to my love. It's good enough to satisfy the whole universe. It's good enough for... I still have no idea what's going on here, but my keen insight tells me you're an enemy. Not only are you dressed incredibly suspiciously... Tanner is glaring at you like you're the scum of the earth, despite him being strangely out of sorts. Take this! My sadness, my- Oh my god! My sadness, my lament, all my sorrow! Ironic! Goff punch! Is that a frickin' G Gundam reference? Bless you. Bless this event. I, you're an unpredictable one, aren't you? Can't say I saw that coming. Did he just try to slug a beast? Yo, okay. Gordolf? Gordolf just tried to straight up punch one of the beasts, the evils of humanity. He's the best. 
His grasp on the situation is so tenuous that he actually ended up acting heroically. What would you have me do, Lady Kama? Oh no, it's okay. His Tokugawa vacation hasn't been completely undone. The shock to his system and just temporarily reverted his mind back to his original self. Come on now, why are you all cowering in fear? She's just one woman, just follow my lead and... Oh? What's this now? Was I showing off my favorite Shogun fist to liven up the party or something? We've had not one but two miracles sufficient to distract the beast, have we? Well then, who's this? Oh, I certainly can't afford to let this opportunity pass me by now, can I? Love, love, love. So your love is a fire of depravity fit to consume the whole universe, hmm? Perhaps it might have been possible for us to join forces somehow, but in the end, you and I are simply too different as beasts. So instead, I think I will do everything in my not inconsiderable power to slow you down. Kiara? Thank you for choosing me, Master. I'm so sorry I won't be able to bear witness to your abstinence anymore. You get out of my face! Are we going to have a beast fight? I ever been as cold as I thought. I do so love drinking in love in all its forms, but the absence of passion is one thing I cannot abide. As a beast myself, I simply cannot permit you to drown all of creation in a love such as this. Shut up, you already had your shot and you failed. The only love this universe needs is the kind I radiate. The way you try to take all the love in the world for yourself, the sheer greed of refusing to be satisfied with anything less. I knew it, you and I are fundamentally incompatible. On that, we agree. I am just a fragment of my true self now, though. I like the power to truly defeat you. And frankly, I refuse to give up being a servant just for you. So I think this is the best thing I can do here. Ah, uh, she's turning towards us. I believe that when things began to get dull, starting over can be a wonderful way to bring a new kind of joy to experience. So I'm going to fling you all back outside. Now that you know the obstacles that await you here, you should be able to come up with ways around them right away. What are you doing? What? Oh, before you go, let me give you one last piece of advice. Keep collecting those Hanafuda cards. They're essentially karma phages. Oh! Though I suppose you wouldn't know what those are, would you? I can't say I have fond memories of them myself. At any rate, you'll find they are very useful. I'm sure they will help you fill in the gaps. I don't know whether they'll lead you to joy or pain, but then... It's all the same in the end. Huh! Oh, hang on. Did you just say you were going to fling us? That's right. If we cannot escape her grasp no matter where we run, then my being here in the Oku doesn't make any difference. It's pressure. Kiara, are you saying you don't care what happens to you? You mean you're going to shield us to the end? I'm sure I can figure out some way you can come with us. Oh no, that's alright. I'll always be there if you think of me. I'm gone if you don't. That's simply what I am. Besides, it was only ever just a fluke that I was able to converse with you at all. That would never have happened if it were not for the beast's stench causing this world to go astray. It doesn't matter what happens to me here. As long as you make it back to Caldia safely, I'm sure we'll see each other again someday. When that day comes, I would be ever so grateful if you find it to be more merciful to me to be merciful to me again. Of course, having a woman like me around certainly won't do any good for Caldia's sense of decency. I'm sure humanity would be better off if you cut ties with me here, but oh well. Are you saying we have to do all that again? Saying we have to do it all again? Oh, and she died. Huh. I gave them love, but at the same time, just for a moment, I was forced to give that woman some love, too. That was so gross. But it's okay. R shouldn't be giving you any more trouble now that I've completely erased her. I'm going to pull off exactly what you failed to do, Rapture. Oh, R is Rapture, L is Laps. Got it. Makes sense. So, just sit back and watch as I grow to true maturation and fill all of creation with my love. What will you do now, my lady? Between Chubbs and everyone else from Caldia, I still have plenty of hostages to spare. He has no choice but to come back here. All I have to do is wait for him to show up again. Understood. Besides, I've already accounted for this sort of thing. I still have plenty left to keep them entertained. You know that just as well as I do, don't you, Nobutsuna? I'm your retainer, Lady Kama. I'll do whatever you ask of me. Say the word and it shall be done. 
that that uh, ellipses there could mean anything in the world, huh? Okay, and quartz get. Okay, uh, okay. Are all the okay? No, I I can continue if I wanted to. Okay, because I do want to go and then clear this all out, which I will do next time. I'll clear I'll clear stuff out. See what happens when I get. Is is there more in the shop now? Is there? No, not yet. Okay. Well, uh, also, yeah, Kiara's gone from the shop. That's interesting. All right, guys, we'll see you next time for some more Fate Grand Order. We will continue on through. I'll probably just clear out the last floor there before then. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see you then for that. Ciao.